Body like me, body like me Baby, when I pull up with you, all in my jeans Big lollipop, baby, lick like ice cream Big bad ways, Mr. Shift your panty Up with your good job and team, up with your benzene Girl, any record, girl, I go make you sing Now she the pray for the cock of my sing I got the only water, baby, make it up sweet uh -huh. Make you drive me home What you did on I even want to go Now for me, love me you Bum that split for your own me you Wallow me you, brag about me you Catch up back while soon be you That's soon now, come on you bow Touch me, I touch that video Yeah, some me, some call all you Chuck me, I jump and not be you Right there, the guy with the shades on, the only guy in the group. Right there, rest, you guys right there. Why you not dancing? And your parents pointed you out and they wasn't dancing also. None of y'all was dancing. I didn't see you dance. I didn't see you dance. Um, sir in the blue shirt. Sir, the light green who's brush with the pineapple in his hand. Yeah, you guys. You know, you, you're not dancing. You're drinking, you're drinking pineapple. Your little pineapple juice, but you're not dancing. And the guy that's eating.
on the beach b and b so um this is the fit i got on i have a bathing suit under and yeah this is what we're looking like today um i'll see y'all once we get breakfast Leave me out the comments, leave me out the nonsense Speaking out of context, people need some content Niggas trying to keep up, shit is not a contest Whipping best concept, heaven said, God said This is what my mom says, proof is in the progress Money's not an object, busy than a motherfucker You know how my job get, barking up the wrong tree You know how the dogs get, haven't fallen off yet Come with a classic, they come around years later and say it's a sleeper The ears are red, the petty is real I jump my ex for a feature Deposit the money to Brenda Latina Alinda Felicia, she gave for me twice. I didn't even know for once. You know I'm a pleaser. 42 millimeter was made in Geneva. Yeah, I probably should go to Yeshiva. We went to Ibiza. Yeah, I probably should go live with Yeezy. I need me some Jesus. As soon as I started confessing my sins, he wouldn't believe us. I got sins on my mind and some pills. Got a lot of hills on my mind and my friends. Yeah, I keep my friends on my mind. We just got breakfast, then we um, stopped at like a, a store nearby, one of these kind of like town center things. So we might get some Turks gear later, but um, now we're about to just go take the shuttle to the beach. And it's so cool too. It's not too hot yet. Okay, 
y'all. Hey, we are at Grace Bay Beach and it's so beautiful. Water is really blue. We're gonna get in the water. I did like a quick little tan. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get in the water and then I think after this we have to go get our rental car and then um, yeah, so I'm just enjoying the vibes right now. And yeah, vacation mode. Out. And you ship it to Turks and Caicos. What would you sell your gas for? Like two times, maybe two, three times. Y'all don't, well, don't have no gas. Did, you're no looking gas? at you're looking at you're looking at the Caribbean through the eyes of the, of, of the U.S. You can't do that. If you in the retail business and you purchase it in Florida, at cost, pay for it to be shipped, pay for a tariff on top of that. Oof. What could you sell your gas for? See, a lot of people don't consider that. They just. The first yeah. thing you do is you just compare. Oh, I paid this at home. Yeah, so I, it's different. It. It's not business. Yeah. It's like the same analogy. Someone in China come to the U.S. and see what you're selling a Nike for. Yeah. That same Nike, they probably make that, make that, uh, by the time it's finished construction of making that tennis, probably 7 or $10 U.S. Facts, yeah. So you can't look at it. You have to compare. It has to be equal playing field, and you have to compare apples with apples. The moment you're comparing oranges with bananas, you got problem. really cool it's looking like it's about to rain so hopefully I'm able to do my photo shoot um, I will pop on after you to Ziza for dinner tonight so this is like a really popular place um, and then also turns it's a restaurant that turns into a nightclub so I'm excited to see um, how that or how it is tonight I know um, the guys that were doing our or doing my photo shoot they're like you know today is the best day to go so um, and then I think tomorrow we're gonna check out shisha lounge it was a full pack day with the horse ride kayaking and then um the kayak photo shoot and then what else did we do you gonna make a right so um anyways headed to dinner super hungry and i'm all the rest of the turks <laughs>
Good morning, baby. Breakfast, we're gonna have breakfast on the beach today at this place called Hemingway's. So we're just um, walking there right now. And yeah, go check out how the food is. for the first time and I don't know to me it tastes like shrimp like Hershey was doing amazing because he's a pro. 
Uh, but yeah, no, it was amazing. We did the jet skis with Hydro Charter out of the Blue Marina Haven or something, Blue Marina. And Livingston was the one that he helped us out. He took us to um, Noah's Ark. We got a chance to go to Noah's Ark, so we killed two birds with one stone. And yeah, what do you think? That was great. <laughs> so definitely got on, got our like third, fourth tan of the day. So we're done with all the, the activities. So now we just chill and have fun for the rest of the trip. Cause that was insane. Like I can't believe um, we did that. So, um, but yeah, so if y'all are in Turks and y'all are out here, definitely check out Hydro Charters. I'll put their like Instagram here and then make sure you book with Livingston. And also, I think I booked through Via Tour or TripAdvisor, so I think they're on there. So if you don't go directly to the website, definitely book with them, so had a great time. So now we, what do we do? We relax, I guess refresh, like clean up, freshen up. We, I think we might grab dinner and then kind of go out for the, like our last full night in Turks, so I'm excited. I look like super tan, like so crazy. But yeah, been having a great, probably one of the best trips I've been on, maybe. So, we'll see. Our freaking uh, bartender at our hotel told us to walk to this party 10 minutes away. So we're like walking in the middle of the street right now. So, let's see how this goes. To go to a, a local igloo party, which is like a cooler party. Like B-O-Y-B. So, we're about to go check it out. Hey y'all, so, so we just got back from, and let me see if I can see this here. Let's see if I can take this here. I did not bring my just a quick check in. So we just got back from Deskies, but today we did the beach first things first. We had breakfast, then the beach, then um, I think we came back from the beach. <sighs> I'm tired. Took a nap. I think we did like a quick nap. Then um, we got lunch. I went to Mr. Grouper. It was pretty good. Um, I feel like I want to make Caribbean food more. I wish I knew how to make it. I've been deprived my entire life until now, my adulthood. So that's what I'm on, Caribbean food now. So we had that, I think I got jerk, yeah, I got jerk chicken, plantain, and mac and cheese. It was actually pretty good. So we did that. Then after that, we went to Jeskies um, down the street. That was crazy, my first time. And like, oh my gosh, like I was just so excited. And like, I, I don't even feel like I was really scared. Like even yesterday with the horseback riding, I didn't really feel scared. I was just like, horses are unpredictable. You never know what they're gonna do. And then you have to sign this waiver. I feel like just you signed a waiver, horses we signed a waiver. What else did we do? We did something on the other day. We had to sign a waiver. So I'm just like with these waivers and just like safety. I'm just like, uh. So, but everything turned out good. Like we're okay. <laughs> um, but jet skis was really fun. Um, the waters were like really, really choppy because we were either gonna go to the options were to go to the shipwreck or go to Noah's Ark or one of the tiki bars like in the middle of the ocean. Super choppy, like, and I was just kind of getting a little bit scared a little bit because we were like halfway and the walk, the waves were getting like super just like deep or whatever. I think today was just very like windy, a windy day. So I was just like, no, let's go to the Tiki Bar. I don't got time. So we just went to Tiki Bar, which was actually a good, we went to Noah's Ark, which was actually a good decision because it was, even though like Sundays is like a big popping day, um, we still went, we still people there, still music, that, and then I was able to drive back, which was really fun. And yeah, like I did it. So that was my first time just skiing. Um, so now we just got back, refreshed up a little bit, charging our phones and everything. We're gonna go out to dinner, get another like um, some more like local food. I tried a local restaurant, and um, it's like right off the beach, so I'm excited about that. And then we're gonna go out tonight, so we'll just see like where we end up. Our the bartender, like this like kind of like grandpa at our hotel, he and some of the other staff there told us about this igloo party. So um, it was like down the street. We actually walked, like, we got back before we came back and like refreshed ourselves. We like walked 10 minutes down the street. He's like, oh, you could just like walk down the street. We walked 10 minutes down the street and it was like, cause we heard this loud music of like different like music. 
and it was like this big like campground like with a stage and like all this stuff and this was around like maybe like three or four so we were kind of like early so we were asking like what's going on like what's going on here and they're like oh like we're having like an igloo party so you literally just bring like your cooler because I, I was like when he was saying igloo i was like igloo like is it ice like is it inside of igloo but i think they meant like igloo like the cooler brand so that's what the connection i made with that and you just bring like you know your drinks whatever drinks you want and you like party all night basically so i think that's like more so a local thing because i've never heard about that um but it's pretty pricey to get in. Like I was saying, hundred dollars. So I'm just like, I don't know, hundred dollars. Turks is already expensive, and most of the bars and clubs to get in is free. So I was just like, I was just like, I don't know. What y'all think? hundred dollars? I'm like, I don't, I've never paid hundred dollars to get in, get into nothing besides so like a concert or like. Cause I feel like most of the time women are free to get in to anywhere, honestly. So I'm just like. A hundred? A hundred? Are you doing that because we're not from here? How much regular people pay? Because that's what I want to pay. I'm going to pay $20. I'm going to pay $10. Um, yeah. So, yeah. We'll see what happens with that. But, yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to say, like, Texas has been, like, probably almost, like, my number one vacation spot this year. And just, like, in general. Um, I feel like Europe was still like up there because it was definitely different, different vibes. But I feel like as far as like fun, let me just categorize like my beach, my like beach island vacations together in voting skill. So I went to Hawaii. Hawaii was cool. It was cool. But I feel like Turks is number one, then Hawaii is number two to my my island vacationing scale so far. Turks is number one, Hawaii is number two, and I haven't been to any other islands, so as I travel more places, I'll be able to add whatever. As far as like my other just like domestic trips, I'm going to say New York, always number one, Salt Lake, um, dang, I feel like it's a tie between Salt Lake and Vegas, because this time Vegas is Salt Usher, so I'm going to say... Uh, so New York, I'm gonna say Vegas, I'm gonna say Salt Lake. Um, those are like the most recent trips I've been on. I can't think of any other. So that's why I'm at with that. So yeah, I'm about to get ready to throw my makeup and then we're gonna head out for your dinner and then we're gonna go out. So
Good morning. It's our final day. And Turks, I'm sad, but I'm not so happy because it's so expensive here. <laughs> but it's been such so beautiful. Um, so we're all about to go get breakfast and yeah, wrap it up for our final day. So, restaurant plans didn't go through. Um, so, we ended up just getting, going back to like our, there's this place called Tribe. And they have, what do they have? Like croissant sandwiches and stuff. So we just grabbed that. And it's like really quick to go. And now we're walking to the beach. Cause our beach ride or shuttle, I think it's like a little bit late. So we did ended up just walking. Cause it's only five minutes. So that's where we're checking off too and we already like melting it's like super super hot already and it's only what nine so i'm like whew. almost there <laughs> <laughs> 